problem with Christmas shopping is sometimes I just want it for myself. Tis the season for gift giving, so I decided to come to the mall. I've actually not gone to a proper mall in a long time, maybe actually since last Christmas. I wanna see what shops are open and what gifts I can find. I instantly got lucky and stumbled upon this soap shop. It's a mom and daughter operation. They make everything by hand and there's a lot of different soaps here, so that's a lot of handmade soap. <laughs> I always wanna call scents flavors. Anytime you see something, you're like, oh, the flavor. No, you don't eat it. Don't be fooled, it's not food. These are really cute. They're surprise boxes, so you don't know what's inside. There's four different items and it could be any Anything from the stores. It's not just soaps. I see some candles, some lotions. I have no clue what it does, but why wouldn't you want unicorn tears? And I love that everything's handmade. You know me, port local, shop local, support your local artisans. Do you feel like giving gift cards is a last resort? You just need this to go from blah gift to best gift. We're making a gift jar. I'm gonna load in a little bit of moss from the craft store. When you've picked a gift card, just go with a color or theme. I'm going with green. Then I like to add in some extra items to accompany the gift card, like a candle, some soap or lotion, even decorative or keepsake items. I found this crystal and I think they're gonna love it. That really didn't take much to plus up that ordinary gift card. For this jar, I wanted to do a winter baking theme. So I found some fun items, sprinkles, some tools, a little snow. Actually, looks more like shaved ice. Sometimes you gotta play around with the arrangement until you find something you like. I'm gonna add a little snow on top, the first snowfall of gift giving season. And sometimes you have to get creative. I put these little utensils on the outside and I might do a bow on the top. What would you put in your gift card jar? Gift baskets are out, but a gift card in a jar is in. My first time making soap, first thing is to put whatever herbs we want in there and then I gotta choose a color and a scent. I'm gonna do some of this hibiscus and a little goes a long way with these, I was told. And then I'm gonna do some peppermint down the middle. I'm gonna go with gardenia. I'm gonna be super traditional and just go with green as my color. Gotta work quick, it's soap, it dries quick. Oh gosh, I got nervous. 30 seconds. Oh yeah, that's nice. Good soap, good soap. Pour it in. I'm trying to find the right color for my cheese. One drop of cherry red. Ooh, whoa. I'm not a good soap student. I march to the beat of my own soap drum. Boop, 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 boop. It's gonna be a rose donut, not a raised donut, a rose donut. And it's gonna be my favorite color, blue-green. It's a representation of everlasting friendship, of, <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to make something up. The, how cyclical the universe is, goes around, comes around. <laughs> it's my artistic expression of roses are red, the soap is blue. I'm making this Christmas donut just for you. Oh, I forgot I was supposed to pour it in. <laughs> Mixing is only half the battle. <laughs> you gotta pour it in. Yeah, I really like the way this one is looking already. It's only been like, what, 15 minutes? This is hard. Layer two is gonna consist of a white soap base, not a clear soap base, so that you can see the herbs and everything in there. Ooh, right to the top. Okay, I had a little extra. And no soap goes to waste here. They'll recycle any little Bit that we don't use. It'll just remelt it and pour it into a mold and make soap out of it. That's amazing. Soaps are ready and I can pop them out of the mold. Look how awesome that looks. That worked out so well. All right, these will be on eBay. Starting bids are at $75. No, I'm just kidding. There is nothing like making something yourself. This was not only fun, but somebody's gonna love this gift. My soap is all made and ready. Gotta go try it out. One of our most popular videos just about ever was a gift wrapping video. And you run out of tape, now that's a problem. Nobody ever teaches you how to wrap present. They only scold you for, for messing it up. <laughs> My grandma growing up taught me how to wrap presents and I still struggle with wrapping presents a little bit. It's really not skill or technique. It is taking your time. A lot of people just try to rush through wrapping gifts. This is my advice to you for low stress holidays. Prepare early. So that means write a list down of everybody you need to get gifts for and set a budget. Start listing down ideas, find some links, save a Amazon wish list, And I'm talking like a few months in advance. Then that way, when you know what you're gonna get, you know who you're shopping for, you know what your budget is, now you can even look for deals, look for promotions, look for coupons, and then make sure that's done a few weeks early and wrap those gifts early. That's my advice. Now, do I do that every year? Absolutely not. <laughs> do I aspire to do that every year? 
Absolutely. Do you know any neat freaks? This is for all my Danny Tanners out there. Now these are some great items to make cleaning fun. Cleaning slime's a unique way to dust and get crumbs out of cracks and crevices. I've made cleaning slime before, but this is a great socking stuffer. Like a dust and crumb magnet. This one's great for anybody, a universal cleaning tool. This has a variety of attachments for keyboard screens and earbuds. Power up cleaning with some cleaning power tools. Now this will do all the scrubbing for you. There's a variety of attachments and an extender so you don't have to break your back. Now you can get to all those hard to reach places. I think cleaning gadgets make great gifts. Problem solved. It dawned on me the perfect place to explore some holiday stuff and I have my eye on all the ornaments. In particular, these. That's my favorite line by David. Mm, oh, he keeps yelling at me. I need to hide from Jackie. These ornaments are like on another level. I love, I want all of these. But is this not the most amazing thing? I want this so bad. I'm gonna cry when Chewie lets out his whale. Hold on. Amazing, no words. I think it's sold out. There's no more left right here. <laughs> his mouth moves, that's cute. I need the Zerg. They have Buzz Lightyear, I may have a conniption. All the nostalgia. There's a Zach Morris, but this is kind of like a creepy Zach Morris. That's not my Zach Morris, okay? That's more like Whack Morris. <laughs> <laughs> they have two different Zergs, but no Buzz Lightyears. What's that about? On to more sad news, the Han Solo and Carbonite. Not only are they sold out, there's a backup wait list of 25 people. So I have to fight off 25 people to get this. I thought they decorated it. The whole thing is a Hogwarts tree. Oh, the tree comes with the six ornaments. I love that. She handed this to me and I can't find where it goes back. So I feel like I have to buy it. How much is it? Oh my gosh, it's $140. I need to find where this goes so I can put it back. When it comes to gifting season, who's the hardest to shop for? This is how to make simple gifts special. Nowadays, it's so easy to make customized gifts, simple items, just with a name printed on it. Customization is a great way to make a simple gift special. Of course, there's Etsy, but even Amazon has certain items that can be customized. Simply seeing your name on an item makes it unique and meaningful. Toiletry kits and pouches come in so many designs and colors. I got this as a gift and I love it. Teachers are one of those groups that are hard to shop for. You just print their name on an item like a blanket and you've got a great gift. Even find other items to customize like soaps or candles. I made these myself and they're gonna make a great gift. So what gift are you customizing? You know, maybe 90 degrees out, but I'm starting to feel like it's the holidays. I'm such a fan of physically shopping, like going to a shopping center, going to a craft fair, going to a holiday market. And I love to see something and be like, that reminds me of somebody and then get that as a gift. What is this store? Doesn't look like there's really anything in here for me. I do want this Beyonce Renaissance Tour bedazzled horse. I would get like eight pair of these vans. I want those. Just about all those vans are on my Christmas list. Maybe we have to go into Spencer's. I did not know they still have these. I grew up going to Spencer's. Ultimate ugly sweaters. I think I want the Step Brothers one though. I need to research. How do you do laundry for a sweater that you plug in? I feel like I wanna get one. Obviously can't get one with a lewd word on it. We'll be doing a fair bit of blurring out. <laughs> I could spend a good couple hours in here trying to read everything, but you know, everything's blurred out because it's kind of an extreme store. Who in your life loves to cook? These are some things they need and will love. I usually shy away from gimmicky devices, but I love this thing and use it all the time. It's a chopper. For quick ingredient preparation, this is gonna do all the chopping for you. This Cuisinart version comes with accessories and tools to clean. This is wax wrap and it's been a great addition to my kitchen. It's simply a sustainable alternative to plastic wrap. Wrap food, cover containers, and it's completely reusable. The freezer is one of my favorite ways to store and preserve food. These large silicone molds are great for portioning soups and sauces. I guess silicone's in when it comes to cooking tools. I've replaced parchment and foil with these baking mats. They're non-stick, so no need for cooking spray, and they clean really easy. Silpat's the traditional brand, but these come in many varieties. Well, I already have these. What are your favorite kitchen tools? And this is one of my favorite places to find really good, like, cooking gifts. I already found this little popcorn set that I think is really cool. And I've always wanted one of these. Mug that warms itself, keeps itself hot. The only thing is I've got to limit myself. <laughs> these are some of my favorite things. Spice sets. Chinese Five Spice Smoky Sweet Mustard Rub. Ooh, Elote Rub? This kind of sounds good. So many cool things. And some are on clearance. Save a little money. <laughs> Here's the problem with Christmas shopping is sometimes I just want it for myself. This would make a great gift 
for someone else, and also me. I didn't know there were so many shapes for ice cube molds. A bulldog ice cube maker. <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed, but I think I'm gonna go with this disco ball cube. Actually, I'm gonna stop touching things because usually I drop something every time I go in a store. I love all the spatulas that are like designed. Sometimes they have licensed ones. Like Wash it before you use it. I might have to pick that up too. There's a reality out there where I can afford one of everything in there because I love that store. At least I walked away with a cool spatula. <laughs> we did a video series where it was a bunch of different things other than regular wrapping paper to wrap your gifts with. Here's some ideas for wrapping when you don't have paper. I love packaging gifts and things that just aren't a normal like gift bag or whatever. One year I didn't have the money to buy wrapping paper so I wrapped gifts in newspaper, used the comic pages, worked great. This reminds me so much of growing up because my uncle actually, any gift I got, was wrapped in the comic section. I think I'm gonna do that for my nieces and nephews. I wanna, I wanna carry on that tradition where your uncle gives you gifts wrapped in the newspaper. Actually, finding a newspaper with a comic section might be a little more difficult than finding wrapping paper. These are my picks for stocking stuffers. Classic 3D puzzles and games are gonna be perfect. These will challenge the brain, and I love them as little decor items on my desk. No, no, just, oh, I did it! Now I gotta get it back in there. I don't even know how to get this apart. I guess that's the point. All right, we'll save that till later. We have other gifts to get to. Simple travel accessories like a sewing kit or a manicure kit. All the things I need for a hangnail, a splinter, or just trimming a nail. This small set is even TSA approved. This has been so helpful for quick wardrobe repairs. I keep these in my backpack for everyday use, and of course, they're great for traveling. I of course love stuff that's sustainable like these washable cotton rounds. These are great for makeup users and all around skincare. Last Object has a variety of reusable self-care items. I think stocking stuffers are the perfect way to gift practical, useful items. Even if you're on the naughty list, these make some nice gifts. I'm in a super rare location called a bookstore. Now these used to be everywhere and then they all started fading away and this is one of the last remaining book establishments where you can actually physically touch the books before you purchase them. But I'm actually not even here for books. I'm here for toys and games. I find it amazing that there are games I've never heard of. I went to a friend's house for a game night. We played three games I had never heard of. So crazy. There's new games around every corner. You can't find real sriracha, but you can find the sriracha game. You know, I love me some Legos. Okay, let's just look and see what they have. Oh, I want the Boba Fett ship. This ship has the coolest sound effect ever, but it has the bomb that does that. One of the best part of Star Wars. <gasps> I love these kind of puzzle games. I had this one as a kid. The ball that you have to take apart and put back together. These are amazing gifts. We're so used to our phones and playing games on our phones. Get a real like puzzle box, one of these little games. Trust me, it's so much fun. They have all the Harry Potter stuff. Hogwarts tablet cover. They don't have technology at Hogwarts. Do you imagine Hogwarts with cell phones and tablets and computers? The store is preying on my nostalgia. We've got Oregon Trail, Jumanji, Harry Potter, puzzle games. There's a game out there for somebody who's a fan of just about anything. I'm currently playing this game, so don't need the board game. I'm currently set to hard. So I think this is supposed to be the Pensieve. You know, you can put the memories in there, but it's a journal. That is a really good gift. Slytherin! I'm a proud Slytherin, thank you. I am exhausted, I am overwhelmed. There's too many things here that I want. So check out your local bookstore if you haven't been in one in a long time because it has all this amazing stuff and a lot of great stuff for gifts.